to my hometown, Craigellachie. Um, <laughs> what the locals call the Craig, it makes it much easier. Uh, but it's not overpowered. There's a lot of there's a lot of young whiskey on the market at the minute that's just been sherry um, to within an inch. It's, it's like just it. sherry. And don't get me wrong, sherry's nice. Uh, sherry cask whiskey is nice. What but I like about this is it, it's only six, but it tastes a bit older. But it's not older because the sherry has just masked everything. You know, it's it's there. You know, Dal Dal Ewan. There is no. It's all about Dal Ewan Facebook page. You know, <laughs> it, it, it's it, it's it's you know, it's no. There's no friends of Dal Ewan uh, club or anything. Uh, which is a shame because it's a lovely, it's a beautiful place. Um, I just want a bottle, a bottle and one label, nothing else. And there we've got a box, and we have three. Labels on the bottle and two bottles, two lips. We've got five labels on each of them, so I didn't get my way. But um, I, I, I have this thing. I have this thing called synesthesia, where I smell in colours. It's only when I'm concentrating. You know, I'll smell and, and I get a flash of colour. It's not like I'm walking around and there's just like lights <laughs> like I'm talking about trapping on mushrooms or something. You know, it's it's um, it's it's only when I when I think of it. And I'm, actually. This was the first time I ever bottled a single malt from this distillery, which is pretty amazing considering how long uh, I've been bottling stuff. The casks have went sky high over the last few years, and it has been getting more and more difficult to buy casks. I, at what whisk we've been keeping, we're in a lucky position because we've got 20 years worth of buying casks to our name, so we know the right people. And to be fair, I've spent a lot of money with them over the years. Other people's money. But I think this whiskey is a little bit different um, in that you probably all hate it because you're all malt snobs. Yeah. <laughs> Member of whiskey clubs, don't you know? I, I stopped drinking blends 20 years ago. <laughs> um, so this, this is a blended whiskey. Um, I'd love to tell you all about it. But I can't. <laughs> it was handed down from Bonnie Prince Charlie. Yeah. What blowing distillery is like the Willy Wonka of distilleries. They've got all sorts of different crazy stuff. They make all sorts of different crazy concoctions. An inch fad is one of their heavier peated ones. Um, it's made in the straight neck still. Um, you can Google that and find out. Loch Lomond yeah. Group stuff, and they own Glen Scotia as well. Didn't have the best reputation. Loch Lomond was the best-selling whisky in Germany, so that explains. <laughs> <laughs> I love to live with this. Yes, it's five years old, but Pete works young, um, and it's oily, it's fatty, it's it's. When you write tasting notes for this, it sounds disgusting, and and, and that is like quite a good thing, you know. And that's why tasting notes are complete. We I don't have forgotten casks because the forgotten casks are always good. No one ever finds a crap forgotten casks. <laughs> I've been lucky over the years. I've possibly, probably, and my wife disputes this, but I'm sure it's true. I've tasted over a thousand different single casks of Kalila. I mean, it took a couple of days, but you know, <laughs> basically, I'll paraphrase it, but it basically said, people in Denmark like good whiskey, don't send them shit. <laughs> One of our mottos in the company is never pick pished. So we never pick a cask when we're pished. <laughs> because you can try things when you're pissed and you're like, oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> so, you know, if you want a successful whiskey company, never pick a cask pissed. So never pick pissed is, 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 is the, the motto for, for, for what whiskey. <laughs>